This is my 1979 Yamaha IT-175. And by the end of this video, we're gonna be out riding this bike. Unless I didn't put this engine together correctly. But first, we have a lot of cleaning to do. So let's get to work. Let me bring you up to speed. I dug this bike out of a shed on a Friday, threw a piston in it, and raced it on Sunday. And just like you'd expect, it was old and worn out. So I decided to give it some attention and bring it back to life. Now the engine and the front forks are already done and ready to go, but now it's time to get everything else cleaned, prepped, and painted. This is gonna take a while. We are on a quest to find our next unfixable motorcycle and we need your help. Here are the criteria. The motorcycle has to have been to at least one other motorcycle shop and was unable to get fixed. And you have to either drop it off or be able to get it delivered to us here in South Central Pennsylvania. If you want your bike to be considered for the next unfixable motorcycle, send us an email to therealbeardedmechanic at gmail.com. In the subject line, put unfixable bike. Now, there's a couple other things you have to put in the email in order to be considered. I need to know the bike's year, make, and model. I also need a description of the problem with the bike and at least two pictures. Also in the email, include your name, your location, and your telephone number. Do all of that and your unfixable motorcycle might just become our next project. So this brake pedal takes some attention. It's got some bends to it. The tip's all worn out. Spring's broken. I safety wired it there to ride it one day. The pivot pin is worn. Yeah, so look at this. So that shot, that spring in here is broken. So I need to pull this off, straighten these. I believe I have a new spring to go on in here. We need to straighten out the pedal a little bit. I might put a bushing on here. I'm not sure yet. A couple other little things like here, where this is where the bolt is right here that comes out of the frame and stops and kind of sets your pedal height. I, I'm, I'm gonna weld that back up and grind that all back flush and fix that. Same here. I'm gonna get this cleaned up as well. First step though is gonna be taking off this brake pedal tip and seeing what we got. A little play in that hole and pin. It's not horrible. Could be a little tighter, but I think it'll work. This is an issue. Got a screwdriver that I don't care if I break it. There's the spring. Now the idea is going to be to spread these back out so they're about the same width as the tip. All right, we got the big chunks all cleaned up and painted. Still a little work to do though on them. We gotta knock out the steering races for the steering head bearings and put new ones in, as well as bushings for the swing arm and some shock bushings, 
things like that. But before we get into that, the next thing I want to do is tackle this exhaust because this needs a lot of work. We need to get this stuff all cleaned up and painted. And we also have some, there's a crack, there's a hole. We got this stuff here going on. So we're gonna finish pulling this apart and we're gonna see what's in there, make it look a little nicer. Man, it's really in there. Vice time. There it is. It's that easy. It just takes a vice. That's all pretty beat up and banged up. Be nice if I could make that look a little better. And it's all pretty clean in there. So this stuff here will need to get cleaned up. Uh, either in the vapor hone. I guess that's probably our best our best play. This baffle's really hammered. That's all right. That's not going to do it. I wonder if we can make that round again. Ah, sharp. You cut yourself? Ah, uh, might have. Okay, well that's off. We can clean this up. See, I wanted to take this off because it's just all beat up and banged up. And I'm hoping I can make it look a little nicer. It's my plan. Is this where I finally get to use my anvil? Oh yeah. How cool does it feel to finally use your anvil? It's amazing. You feel like a, like a blacksmith? I, I, yeah. Like a bike smith? I feel like I'm a farrier. There, now we're getting places. Smacked that with a hammer a couple times. Yeah, good enough. Yep, now it'll still fit in there, just like it's supposed to. Let's see if we can fix this up a hair. It's not doing what I want it to do. Fixed it. Yeah? Yeah, see, it looks better. Sure it does. That's just where we're at today. <laughs> a little Dremel action will clean that up. Next step for these is the vapor hone. Now over the weekend, I added a cool feature to this thing. I'm gonna see if it works. And the idea is I put this stuff in here and I shut the door and I walk away and do something else and then this is gonna vapor hone itself. Just watch. So I'm hoping while that's vapor honing itself, we're gonna get this stuff done. We need to start by knocking out these uh, steering head races and then we're gonna put new ones in, new steering head bearings and this frame's gonna start to go together. Now we gotta whack them out. Let's see here, let's get this in a spot. Get it in a good whacking spot. Oh, that didn't work at all. Just goes to show, you buy all the fancy tools and they still don't work right. Well, yeah, the idea is this goes in and these compress and then they pop out along the edge of the steering bearing uh, race and then you can knock out the race. But apparently this race doesn't have a big enough lip on the inside here for these to grab onto. Of course. So, and if you look, so the bottom one's actually really handy. You see that that's a groove there. What about it? See there? So that actually lets you get a punch in from the top and hit here on the race and knock that out. And then there's one opposite up here on this side too. So you can work it back and forth. Now, unfortunately, the top doesn't have that. So we're going to have to get a little more creative there. But let's get this one here knocked out. What if we just forget all that, clean these up and reuse them? I got new bearings. These things here aren't that screwed up. Until we're done messing around, it ain't going to make a bit of difference. Watch this. We're going to figure this out. So we got lucky with these races that they're still in good shape. And upon further inspection, there's really no reason to pull them. That was a big fail. I know these things are a bear to come out, but that should have worked better. All right, let's get the swing arm cleaned up and see what we have for swing arm bushings. Next step is getting the swing arm ready for new bushings. We got to clean out these holes. I got to find the bushings. They're somewhere. And we'll get that ready to put on. Let's find those bushings. All right, let's see what we got. That's one of them. Swing arm. This stuff here is all for the exhaust. Here are our new bushing pins. Boom. Let's 
and keep those on the right part number so I know which is right and left. The next big thing I have to do before this bike can start going together is get this fuel tank cleaned up and looking better. Yeah, I could have went and bought one, but this here is going to work. I'm going to take a razor blade and I'm just going to scrape the sides of this tank. And that just takes off the thin layer of oxidation. And there you can see just after a couple minutes scraping that with a razor blade it's looking a whole lot better then we hit it with some sandpaper maybe something else a little polish i don't know yet but it'll look good when we're done this is a messy job so the reason i'm leaving these brackets on and this bracket on is because the bolts are tight and these are it's actually just a sleeve molded inside the plastic that they're threaded into and if i screw that up the tank's junk and i'll have to buy a new tank and i don't want to buy a new tank that's why i'm doing all this so they're not leaking they're in there they're just going to stay in there and we're going to keep cleaning this What you doing? Wet sanding the tank and I'm tired of it. I think we're gonna start putting stuff together. That fast? Yeah. Wait, don't you have more cleaning to do? Yeah, I got a lot. Yeah, I got I got cleaning to do. I have wheels to clean, I got stuff to do, but you know what? I'm over it for right now. I wanna start putting this together. How do you just be over it? I've, you I've, have to I've clean been cleaning things. for days. But you have to clean stuff to, before you put it together. I know. You're gonna throw this look, all off. Look at all, throw what the- I We know. had a plan. Mm -hmm. I'm deviating from the plan, Dan. Yeah, apparently. Greg, I can't stop what's, you, but I can what's the say worst, this is a bad idea. What's the worst that's gonna happen? We have a three-part video. So I am so tired of cleaning right now, and I just wanna start seeing this bike put back together so I get excited about it again, because right now it's that's real mature, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> I, what can I say? My attention spans a little short sometimes. So, where do we want to start putting this bike together? Do we start with the engine? I don't know, you're the one that's jumping the gun. I'm gonna spin this around. I'm gonna stick this in, and you go right through there. You got it? Got it. Okay. Beautiful. You got an engine in, Craig. Starting to look like a motorcycle. Starting to look like it's um, a okay. decapitated motorcycle. This is good because I'm getting more excited about this. My word, was I sick of cleaning stuff. Aye, 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 daisies. I was, I was, I was over it. All right, what do we got next? Okay, let's put this swing arm on. Okay, maybe I need to put uh, this piece on the swing arm and then the swing arm into the engine. Well, how'd you take it apart? I don't remember. That was like months ago. All right. Hold up. I screwed up, Dan. You'd never do such a thing. Uh, watch me. put that swing arm bolt through and then that's done and then that won't be flopping all over the place. Cool. You're almost there. You're in. Yeah. You got it. I feel very accomplished. See how exciting that is? Yeah. It's almost as exciting as if the bike was starting right now. The bike basically started. All right, that's all good and exciting. Ooh, let's get the triples on. Got a little work to do for that, but that's gonna be fun work. I'm all about having fun. Yeah, me too. This, see, see, all it takes is a little of this and now I'm excited again. But holy macaroni, day after day of just cleaning stuff gets so old. I gotta knock a bearing on here. Okay. And then. Yeah. 
All right, next step, we have to get the triple clamp all set up to go on the bike. I did this in a way that it should have just peeled easy, but I forgot where I started. Oh my gosh, not satisfying at all. Oh, the fact that it's going off in tiny little chunks. <laughs> yeah. Come on, painters. Let's zoom in on this unsatisfying content. Oh my word. Oh, it's so, it's so bad. bad. So what's the deal with painter's tape? Like, if you leave it on the right amount of time, it comes off easy. But if you leave it on too long, it, it like grows adhesive. Oh! Wow, it's a good thing I was not looking. It, therefore, it didn't happen. Nailed it. <laughs> okay. This actually came out pretty good. I like that paint. This is where it gets messy. So here, while I'm nice and greasy, let me show you something. This is a bearing packer. And the way this works is you fill the bottom half here with grease and you take your handle out and there's holes in there, see them holes. And you put your bearing on there and you put this on and you push down and it feeds the grease up through the bearing. But this isn't the grease I wanna use in these bearings. So I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way grease in the palm of your hand. I hold the bearing so that I'm holding the cage of the bearing actually away from the inside race. So it's not much, but it just helps open that up a little bit. And then you take this and you just start working grease in this groove here. And you work that grease up this groove until it comes out the top. Once it comes out the top, that bearing is greased and you can move on to the next project. There, see how it starts coming out the top? And that lets you know you fed grease all the way up through. We get our new fancy dancy. We get our fancy dancy steering stem bearing tools. I want these things to start. See how it's like kind of crooked already? Don't want to start bearings crooked. That just, see? You tell us. See how it's like. Okay, we got some grease on there. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Oh yeah. Oh, oh look at that. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Okay, we'll get that all set once the forks and everything's on. Nice. We're gonna grab a tap quick and we're gonna tap through these holes, get any of that uh, paint out. Let me grab my tap. tap a -rooney. I wonder if those are for here. Where did those other pieces go is my question. Um, what other pieces? The pieces I'm looking for. Ah, right here they are. Yep, they were right there. They were there the whole time. I'm just gonna say look behind you every time you ask where something is. Super sneaky. One thing you wanna watch when you're doing these clamps, see that little dot? Yeah. See that little dot? Not as well. It's cause there isn't one. Whoa. Ah! Oh my gosh. So that, these are like a line bore, line bore, but basically you want those dots up so that your hole is concentric. You don't happen to remember what we did with the four bolts that went on the here, do you? Probably over there. They're probably right behind you, Craig. Oh, did I put them in here? Yeah, those could probably be it. I want to give them a quick clean. What's going to be funny is later on when I go to put something together, I'm going to be like, where'd those four bolts go? Because these probably aren't it. But let's see, let's see. Do they fit through there? Okay, maybe these, maybe these are it. These cable guides will go here. Cable guide? Guide. guide. Cable guide. Okay. Uh, but we're gonna wait. That's gonna be one of the final touches. We're not there yet. No. Next step. This is all exciting because now it's like going together and believe it or not, we do a little more of this and then maybe I'll be excited about cleaning some stuff again. Maybe. Maybe. Let's put these on. And then those go down here. Oh, 
I feel like I'm in the matrix. Who says we're not? This fork height will get measured once we have more stuff assembled. I'll just give these a snug for now. Starting to look like a motorcycle again, eh? Whoops. There we go. All right, this is starting to shape up to be something. We'll just snug this down and then. Stiffen that compression up as stiff as can be for right now. Nice. Oh, okay, we can't forget this piece. We can forget how it goes on. So go here, and then that goes there. I'm liking that. It's all looking good now. Okay, and that gets a washer and a pin. And there's actually supposed to be two little cups that go on to here, but I don't have them. But this bushing is getting pushed out anyway and replaced when the shock gets done. So I'm not too worried about that at the moment. How we doing? I'm feeling fantastic. How are you feeling, Dan? I'm feeling absolutely wonderful. Awesome. All right. All right, Craig, you got a lot of dirty parts. It looks like we're back to cleaning. Nope, I'm done cleaning for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out one of these two videos right here. Next time, this thing's gonna be on the dirt. Later.